Well, I feel crazy tired today. Uh, usually I don't drive like this, but these past two days I was like a company driver. I'm at a hotel right now in Cambridge, and uh, today is uh, Saturday, 26th of November 2016. Uh, still the Black Friday craze is going on to the tomorrow uh, Monday is a Cyber Monday but for me the Black Friday chase after uh, cheap pricing is over So I had that uh, machine, right, that uh, water pump, and because they gave me another load that I had to do while I still under this one, so I had to drop the trailer. So I was driving like basically non-stop, and I was in uh, Fort Erie. I crossed the border yesterday, I think. <laughs> it's like a blur now. I crossed the border. And I spent the night in Fort Erie at the Flying J Exit 5 uh, QW Freeway. And I got up at 5.30 and I was on the road and it's always like in my case, it's always 45 minutes. I don't know why. So 5.30 I was up, 6.15 I was on the, on, on the, on the freeway heading toward uh, Toronto and our company yard uh, two and a half hours away north of uh, Toronto and nobody's working right so I just had to have a key I had to open the gate uh, drop my trailer uh, the RGN loaded with that uh, water pump and picked up uh, a roll tight you know a rolling tarp uh, 48 foot step deck like very old just a step deck I don't remember last time uh, my truck was hooked up to a step deck, but actually it was funny because this you know the step deck especially 48 it's I don't know maybe 10,000 pounds lighter than uh, my RG and my, my trail is about 22,000 pounds empty uh, This thing okay roll tight is about 2,000 pounds. I know that because I had one right uh, like long time ago I had that uh, Wilson uh, Red or orange trailer red 48 step so this one was probably like 14, but the truck drove so nice, you know, with the empty trailer. <laughs> in, uh, of course, I was catching lots of wind. And, and, and guess where I was going? I was going back to the same direction I came. So I spent the night in Fort Erie on Canadian side, uh, on, this re on the side of the river, uh, you know, away from Buffalo. And so I drove two and a half hours towards Toronto, picked up this trailer, and I drove back to Buffalo. Uh, there was a, I, I had to be there before one o'clock and it proved to be difficult but I was talking to the shipper I said guys I'm coming you know left him a message you know because today's Saturday right but these guys work all the time it's just that you know you gotta be um, sure that somebody will be there to load you right otherwise I'm just I have to pay the toll you know stuff like that and so yeah I drove across the, the, the border and there's a uh, auto plant right on the other side of the border i went there pick up a couple of skids managed to open the rear of the trailer but i asked the shipper i said the guy in the forklift i said can you <laughs> can you just load it from the back because it was just like two skids you know one was long one was uh, like two pieces one was a metal piece and then just one kind of like a bin with parts you know like maybe three feet tall i said uh, I can open the sides, but I don't want to because, uh, you know, last time I used this kind of system, it was like maybe five years ago, you know. So I opened the rear, and you have to use that big handle, you know, you open the, you roll up, you roll up the rear uh, piece of the tarp. But I just didn't want to, you know, fight with those locks in there. You have to open locks on both sides I saw the handle there like a small handle I see like how it's done but it's so the guy loaded me from the back I put like the uh, I asked the boss to leave me some straps inside uh, this uh, trailer because it's his trailer company trailer and so I used some hand ratchets because mine were on my trailer 
uh, secure this, you know, roll down that uh, flap in the back, and was out there. I was out of there maybe, it, all in all, it took me one hour. And then I went back to the, to the border, Crossed the bridge and there was a problem with my paperwork, so I had to I had to spend like maybe 40, 50 minutes over there. And while all this was happening, my thoughts were with my unfortunate attempt to buy the camera at the Henry's, right? <laughs> and basically what they do, they take the money and they put it on hold, so now you don't have the money. Like they take it from the credit card, it's not available. And when I was picking up the step deck, I got an email from from the corporate uh, uh, office saying that, yeah, this, because I asked them, I said, you know, cancel, because if you cannot ship it to a mailbox, like they told me, right, at least cancel and put the money back on my card so I can go to a retail store and get this camera. And so 9 o'clock in the morning, they said, yeah, the deal is canceled. Uh, and then I asked him, like, when do I get the money back? I hate when they do that, you know, like Amazon, for example, uh, you, when you buy something, they only charge your card after the item is shipped, you know, that's fair, because sometimes it can take, take them three, four days uh, to prepare this, you know, but these guys, they grab the money first, and then they sit, and they think, and then they decide, you know what, this guy has a mailbox, no, we're not going to ship it over there. Oh, Mr. Dracher, thank you for your order, but it has been canceled. But anyway, so, and I'm rushing, 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 because I was, this girl over there at the store here, the local, my, my photo store, uh, agreed to put the camera on hold. And, you know, and I have to do this, like, almost 600 kilometers, you know, like, uh, 360 miles. And today they're open till 6. Uh, very nice girl. Uh, at the local store here in Cambridge, and she kept the car, she kept the camera, and I, I thought, I, I said, okay, I'm coming at 3:30. Then I was delayed at the border. I called her. I said, okay, sorry, uh, a bit delayed. Uh, I'll be there at 4:30. And she worked all day, and she says, yeah, I have the camera. Everything is good. Just uh, we're waiting for you. And so I decided not to. First, I wanted to park the truck, jump into my car, and go to the photo store, and then I. No, I'm not taking any chances. I want this camera. Because, you know, I don't know how many they have. And it's, you know, the, it's a very big discount. It's uh, cheaper than in the States right now. For some reason in Canada, when the dollar is weak, our prices are often better uh, than in the States. The only thing, of course, for Americans to buy here, yeah, you can save money. But then, you know, what are you going to do if it breaks down? You'll have to send it to, uh, no, probably they'll take it. As long as you buy it like uh, at a retail store, you know, they don't like it when you buy uh, by mail from another country. I think they can, there can be some problems with the warranty. That's why, uh, you know, and so I just decided just to drive the truck. I drive this huge truck right into the parking lot of the photo store. <laughs> this, I go inside and I say, is that your truck? Because they know I'm a trucker. I said, yeah. And so they get me this. Right away, they, they take this off the shelf. I can D750. I haven't even opened it yet. I want to do an unboxing video tomorrow. It's the same one I had before, maybe like two or three times, and then each time I have to sell them. But uh, this is it. And I got uh, two years warranty. But at first, it didn't work. I couldn't I couldn't pay for it because uh, my on my on my smartphone, I just checked the balance. It says, yeah, money is available. I try to pay with my visa declined. Like it's unbelievable, you know? And well, these guys are understandable at the photo store because I guess they saw, they see it every time. And right away they say, well, we can use two or three cards, you know, because you know, it's a lot of money. And I said, okay, let's use debit. Let's use visa. Visa still doesn't work. So I have to call the bank. Uh, the guy says, well, ask the Henry's to release the funds because it still shows that they charge your card. So we call Henry's, they find my order and they confirm, yeah, the money has been released, so everything is good. But on my, you know, on my bank app, on my phone, it shows that I have the money, but whenever I try to use it, 
it doesn't work. And then I call the bank and they say, well, yeah, you only have, uh, you don't have enough uh, for this big purchase. It's still on hold. Uh, that was like the first time. And then second time when I call them after I talked to the corporate office, they say, uh, the guy agreed to help me. So he kind of like facilitated, facilitated the process. You know, he says, yeah, well, he looked, you know, kind of like overrode the system because he saw it was already returned. Because, you know, I said, I didn't buy it. Like, I, I tried to buy it online. It didn't work. And so I was able to get it. I got this. And then I got two years warranty from the store. And basically, the factory warranty is two years. But what happened is that if this is a lemon, and these cameras are, you know, famous for problems with the shutter. Uh, like DA10, which is now on sale, but it was like... <laughs> out of my budget uh, but that one has a much better uh, shutter mechanism this one uh, some people experience problems so you know uh, so if it starts if it breaks down if you see it's a lemon within the first 15 days under the factory warranty you can exchange it or I think now they even allow you to return it like even with this you know big amount couple of grand Canadian um, but if you and but after that it's only repairs nobody is going to give you a good uh, a new camera you know but if you buy this um, extended warranty from the store uh, they kind of overlap with the factory warranty so now the total warranty becomes four years and instead of 15 days uh, lemon exchange you get 30 uh, and plus the best part is that if your camera starts breaking breaking uh, down after that uh, and it's the same the same reason they fix it once they fix it twice if it breaks again third time they give you a new camera and everybody like I know and guys even you know all guys and gals at the store the, this photo store that have cam expensive cameras they all go for this uh, extended work so a very good deal and it's only like two hundred twenty nine dollars for and you get four years or I think 299 and then you get five but you know like honestly I don't think I'm gonna keep this camera longer than three years and in that time there'll be something better and then also I got this uh, I had it before a very nice uh, shotgun mic I you know I tested it works it's very small very light like looks like this and so because I'm gonna I'm gonna use it I'm gonna try to use it more for video then for photography and so this will help uh, get good sound you know good audio and then I got two lenses coming I was supposed to pick up one today but the guy mixed up boxes and you know ask him to leave a box uh, like in a secret place there because they close at three my my uh, post office more like you know and I go there I open that secret spot hoping to see the box with my uh, new Tamron 45 millimeter f 1.8 and I see it's a different box. It's like he, the guy mixed up the box number, and he gave me a wrong package. So, and tomorrow they close. So now I cannot get that lens till Monday. Um, and that's it. So just two items. <laughs> that's a lot of money. Well, this one I got this one because this one on sale. That's a regular price. 79.89 Canadian now it's 69 10 bucks off like everything now is the best time to buy so now in Russia there's a tradition when you buy something like you buy something expensive you buy a car um, I don't know you buy a computer you buy a camera uh, you have to admit they they call it ну что обмоем это дело мужики Basically, admit means uh, wash off. You know, like when you um, like shower, shower off, wash off. So, uh, so you have to get something like this. You have to get like a bottle of vodka, but you know, or like some wine. So you have to kind of like celebrate. And 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 the the belief is is that if you don't wash it off, so to speak. Uh, oh, and yeah, and you're supposed to invite friends. You know, like friends and family, and you are. Uh, responsible for выставить закуску, выставить напитки. So you supply the, the booze and you supply the um, 
the uh, appetizers and stuff like that then so then uh, the item that you so now you're a proud owner of this big value item like a camera you know uh, a car a computer so now it's supposed to work and last you uh, a very long time and that's just what I'm gonna do that's the plan for tonight relax and then Monday um, jumping back in the truck and I'm delivering this uh, two skids near Toronto this uh, car parts and then I'm driving back to the company yard dropping this trailer hooking to my trailer and delivering that one to another suburb of Toronto and after that that's it I don't know what I'm doing but right now I'm so tired I just wanna go to take a shower go to bed watch some uh, TV and just fall asleep with the camera under my uh, pillow thanks for watching I'm Sergey Drachev in Cambridge Ontario Canada have a good weekend